The Russian Jatsant S self-propelled artillery gun has destroyed the US-made M777 155mm Hoitzer in Ukraine, according to the latest claims by the Russian Defense Ministry. The US has supplied 90 M777 Hoitzers to Ukraine as part of an $800 million military aid package, and reportedly all except one have reached Ukraine, with several of them now deployed on the front lines. The news comes just days after another Ukrainian M777 Hoitzer near the Pajornoya settlement was seen, being struck by projectiles fired from a Russian who have backed up by artillery. The Russian Defense Ministry has released a video showing the crews of Jotsant S-152 mm self-propelled artillery guns purportedly engaged in counter-battery firing against a Ukrainian unit of US-made M777 155 mm Hoitzers. In the process of fulfilling its counter-battery warfare tasks, a battery of Jotsant S systems eliminated a unit of US-made M777 155mm towed Hoitzers, the ministry said in a statement. The Russian teams of Jotsant S self-propelled artillery guns are destroying the Ukrainian military's strongholds, fortifications, manpower, and military hardware, the state news agency, TASS citing the ministry data, reported. After each artillery strike and detecting enemy unmanned aerial vehicles, Jots and S teams swiftly changed their fire positions, added TASS. As the war effort is now concentrated primarily in eastern Ukraine and the Donbas region, it has morphed into an artillery duel between Russia and Ukraine. Both sides are more focused on counter-battery fire. Therefore, the M777 Hoitzers supplied by the US have been a major boost to Ukraine's firepower and counter-Russian offensive due to their long range and accuracy. Most of the Ukrainian artillery is at least three decades old with relatively small ranges. American M777 vs Russian 2S5 Jotsant S Designed and manufactured by BAE Systems, the 155mm M777 is the world's first ultralight or lightweight howitzer weighing less than 10,000 pounds because of new titanium and aluminum alloys. Its lighter weight and smaller dimensions allow the M777 to be easily transported by USMCM V-22 Osprey, CH-47 helicopter, or truck, which means it can be deployed and redeployed more frequently. Maximizing its survivability is vital in a counter-battery warfare. The 2S5 Jotsant S-152 mm self-propelled gun was developed during the Soviet era by the Special Design Bureau of the Sverdlovsk, now Ekaterinburg, machinery construction factory late in 1968. The gun weighs 2,800 kilograms, making it approximately seven times heavier than the US-made M777. The M777 Hoitzer is equipped with a 39 caliber barrel. It has a maximum firing range of 24.7 km with unassisted rounds and 30 km with rocket-assisted rounds. It can fire at a rate of 2 rounds per minute for a prolonged period of time and up to 5 shots per minute in extreme situations. In comparison, the 2S5 Jotsant S provides a slightly longer range of 28.4 km for the standard HE frag shell and up to 33 km with a rocket-assisted shell with a maximum rate of fire of 5 to 6 rounds per minute. In addition to HE, high explosive, rounds, the gun can also fire heat, cluster, smoke, and nuclear projectiles. The weapon is aimed at using the D72645 mechanic sight with PG-1M panorama and Opt-91A optical sight. The M777A2 variant uses the modular artillery charge systems, MAX, to fire the Raytheon Bofors XM982 Excalibur GPS inertial navigation guided extended range 155mm projectiles. Excalibur has a larger range of approximately 40 km. The gun crew size requirement is a minimum of 5, and the maximum towed road speed is 88 km per hour, while the towed cross-country speed is 50 km per hour. 
The 2S5 can run at a maximum road speed of 63 km per hour, an off-road speed of 25 km per hour with a maximum cruising range of 500 km. The M777s are operated by Australia, Canada, India, Saudi Arabia, Ukraine, and the United States, while the 2S5 is in service with the armed forces of Belarus, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Georgia, Russia, Ukraine, and Uzbekistan.